Argentinians already have so much to celebrate, but today, guys, we are taking on Barraca Central. Yes, the poorest team in Argentina, putting it all across the pond into the Spanish second division and trying our best to turn the worst and poorest team in Argentina into the best in Europe. Obviously, we all know how well the Argentinians have done and how Messi now is confirmed to be the GOAT forever and ever. But in today's rebuild, I want to find multiple players that you and I possibly never heard of and turn them into the next Messi. Is that possible? Are we going to have any of these outstanding players? Let's see how our story unfolds with Baracas Central. With the tiny budget that we have, we are looking at the starting 11 right here. We're looking at Coleman. We're looking at Valenzuela, Tapia. I believe Tapia is one of the higher potential players in the team. The guy doesn't have a face, so he can't be one of our main players. Then we have Mater on the right-hand side. And again, you can tell a bunch of these players, nearly half of the team, doesn't actually have a picture on the game. Salvareski. This is the one and only guy. And also the highest potential player in the team. The highest potential in the team belongs to him, and it is 76. Yes, so the entirety of this squad needs a complete revamp. We need to let go of, I feel like, 100 players. And once we have let them all go, we're going to start this rebuild with hopefully a budget over 10 million. That is the target I'm setting myself. I've made some sales. Tapia is gone. Ferreira is gone. Coleman is gone. Valenzuela is left. And this right here that cheeky little goalkeeper is the one and only transfer i've made i'll show you him in a second but you can see that we have let go of a bunch of players to take our budget as far as possible it was actually on 14 million and now we have brought in the keeper the keeper obviously extremely important when it comes to rebuilds so because of that i had to secure a deal straight away 22 year old six foot four tall Portao, he is coming into the team and hopefully will be a great goalkeeper. I like the fact that he's six foot four. That should be quite helpful moving forward. But along with that, we definitely desperately need some new defenders. I'm going to go with this formation, by the way, a little bit of an attacking formation to have a right wing and a left wing, because obviously Messi did play on the wings at first and then move into the center. So ideally, whoever is going to be the next Messi needs to be needs to be the guy on the wings. Also, on top of it, guys, this team, sadly, when you look at the highest rated players, some of them are loaned in. And that is going to be a big issue. So we need to replace even more players moving forward. So I need to make the best of this budget that we have at the moment. Second transfer for the defense is coming in as a centre-back walks into the club. His name is Valentin Gomez. 2.7 million spent on this one. Obviously, I can't go out and spend this much on every single player, but... It is an A rating on the transfer. Now, this guy, Diaz, is going to be taken out. And Gomez comes in with a 70 rating. Now, that is huge. 77 pace, 70 physicality, 70 defending. And the guy is 19 years old, 5 foot 11 tall. This could well and truly be my Lisandro Martinez, I think. So, I'm very happy to bring him into the squad right here. And he is a youngster that will probably lead the line for this defense. But then again, Tavareski, I'll... I'll keep the captaincy armband on him because I would love to take him all the way. Hopefully, he will grow along with the team. I am mainly going to be focusing on strengthening the defense first. So, I have gone for a left back. Now, this is someone I actually know of. I don't know why, but this guy named Aude. He is Julian or Julian Aude coming into the club right now. Baraka Central is bringing in a player from Lanus and... We have gotten a great price for him, which I'm very happy about. He comes in for that left back spot. Once again, all those left backs that we have here, Diaz and Calde Calderera. Calderara. There we go. I got it, guys. I can read. Uh, we have put him in there because those two are loaned in. So we needed, to, we needed to sort out the defense immediately, and we have done so. The right back is 26 years old. He's 70 rated, one of the highest rated players in the team. So we're going to keep him in there. Nice earrings. I think he has some on him. And then we have Blanco and Glabi. Obviously, that's the next step for me. I want to improve that position immediately, and I have like 9 million left. The midfield issue is sorted out. We have brought in two players, one of them coming in right here, and he is actually someone that some of you guys might know, Juan Sforza. It is a player that I am aware of, a player that plays in Argentina that I fully expect 
to get a move into Europe at some point very soon. If not this season, then next season, in my opinion. He comes in now to take over the right CDM position. He will be counted as a center mid, though. And next to him, we have an 18-year-old talent with the name of Tan Longo. These two players are going to be our midfielders, hopefully, for a very, very long time. This man is left-footed, so he should actually go over here into this position. And then Tan Longo should be in that right CDM position. He's right-footed. I think that suits us better. But you can tell from his stats, he's extremely well-rounded in basically everything here. So this could be a player that actually could be better as a center mid. So I'll see what I can do there. And Sforza is a center mid who has decent amounts of pace. Not as good as shooting as the CDM, but has some really good dribbling attributes to him. So I'm thinking these signings will make a big difference moving forward. Palacios. That is probably a name that a lot of you guys know off when it comes to Argentinian players, but it is probably Ezequiel Palacios that you think of. Now, for me, I've gone to Saudi Arabia, to Al Ain FC, to find an Argentinian 20-year-old center attacking midfielder who now needed to join our team. He comes in at possibly a 68 rating. Let's see what he, he is. 68 rated. Beautiful. This man is going to be my center attacking mid. Four-star skill moves on him as his career begins in our club. 20 years old, 5 foot 6 tall. So he's going to be one of them amazing dribblers. Hopefully, we can turn him into an absolute monster in that position. And any, anyone and everyone that comes into this attack could be the next Messi. I mean, to be fair, Messi kind of plays the center attack in midfield, center forward role at this point. So Palacios is up for debate. He could possibly get it done. All I can say is... Arr. Now, you will understand what I mean by that because right here, this man is coming in. His name is Ramiro Ruiz Rodriguez. Arr. Okay, so we got that out of the way. He walks into the club as a new striker. I needed someone to take this team to the next level and he is 70 rated. Oh, okay. This man is 22 years old, 79 pace, 69 shooting, 70 dribbling, Three-star skill moves, two-star weak, but high attacking work rate. He could be the guy. He could be the one. That could be the next Messi. We'll see what happens. There, there are going to be multiple options in here. So far, we have Palacios and Luis Rodriguez. But that is it, guys. I don't have any more money, and I don't necessarily have any more players to sell. So we have done our best. Let's play this first season. So something just happened. We had a bunch of players release clauses met and the team just decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to pop in a bunch of players into your team. So we have gotten this 31 year old that is going to be coming in for the right midfield position who actually improves our team. I have no idea where he came from, Hungary. And then we have gotten a goalkeeper named Dan Lad, 20 years old. He is from the country of Ghana, and he's higher rated than the goalkeeper I had mentioned for the team or brought in for the team. So I'm in a really weird spot now. I'm not happy about the fact that I got given higher rated players out of nowhere. EA once again doing EA things. If I don't have enough players and their release clauses are being paid, don't let them go. So even though we have gotten a bunch of new players just added into our squad, the first season is now finally done. And I need to see how our team has done. I don't think it has gone too well. Oh, okay. 12th position. I'll take that. Minus 10 on the goal difference. So defensively, we desperately need improvements. And I need to see more goals as well because we have conceded more than we have scored. And that is obviously not ideal. So we need to fix that as we try and get to the top of the division to try and get into La Liga. And that is the league in which obviously Lionel Messi made his name, man. Unbelievable performances throughout history. And do you guys actually think he's going to go back? Because there's a lot of talk about Messi going to Inter Miami. Apparently, he's going to go over there to play for David Beckham's team and he's going to get like part ownership and all those things. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if I want it to happen. I think he's still the best player on, on the planet. So I want him to stay at PSG ideally and still get a little bit of playtime or even go back to Barcelona. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But here is the team. We are looking at the main man up top, Ruiz Rodriguez, 74 rated. Okay, Palacios, 72 rated. Tanlongo 70, Sforza 70, both on the same rating. I like that. And then we have in the defense, Salvareski up to a 72. Let's go. Gomez up to a 73. Alde up to a 71. And Portal 69 rated, while Dan Lad has gone up to a 71. 
This season has been good in terms of growth, but I need more money to bring in more players. A new left wing is needed for the new season because it is the position that needs fixing. And perfectly, the deal includes Dan Ladd. Dan Ladd is leaving the squad and we are going to be giving Porto the time he needs to play. And the man coming in is Julian Fernandez. Once again from Vélez Sarsfield, and I'm just realizing they have a bunch of talent in there. And Julian Fernandez is going to take over the left wing spot for me. He comes in as a 71 rated player, which I'm very happy with. And he's a right wing that actually is left footed. Is this Messi? <laughs> is this our Messi? 76 pace, 74 dribbling, only 19 years old. A four star weak foot, not the most skillful player out there which at the time, Messi didn't necessarily skill too much, and he still doesn't have five-star skills in FIFA, I believe. Always had like four-star max. So this guy could be the one, 19 years old. I like it, but he is six foot tall. So he's much, much taller than Messi ever will be or ever was. So that is quite interesting to see. Now on the left-hand side, I need to sort out that position. And obviously, I'm not going to say the guy's name because, you know, it's going to cause for the video to be flagged or something so i'm not gonna do it but you guys see his name and i'm gonna be very careful around it 32 year old he needs to go and with that we can fix the left wing position and possibly include him in the deal as well which would, which would make things a lot easier with this next transfer i made a point in going ahead and bringing in a short player now this one is from boca juniors as we all know messi did play at Newell's Old Boys, so this is not necessarily the same club, but Luca Langoni is a player coming into the squad now for 4.9 million plus the right wing that we had in the team, and he is a 72 rated player. I like that. He's going to be playing on the left on his right foot. I kind of like what we're building here. So we're going to keep it that way, just so these players cut inside and do things. 77 pace, 74 dribbling, 69 shooting. His shooting is on the same level as Fernandez, so that's good to see. Our striker only has 74. Langoni will be turned into a left wing, high low work rate, and he is 5'8". So yes, I did make a point in bringing in a shorter one this time around. Hopefully, this could potentially be the next Messi. Who knows? But now, I feel like we're set. We're good to go for a big big season lads this season is over and i do want to see our team in the top 10 i do think we have made some good choices in terms of transfers coming into the team whoa what he's gone up to a 79 okay that's interesting fernandez up to a 76 ruiz rodriguez 76 palacio 76 the entire attack is looking very very good right now so we should have scored a lot more goals this season tanlongo and sforza both with the plus four i believe and our captain salvareski is now at the 76 which originally was actually his potential so let's see if he can go past it blasi on the right on a 74 gomez on a 78 porto has gone past the 70 plus three this season and our left back has gone up to a 76 himself so overall very good stuff extremely impressed with the fact that langoni has gone up to a 79 how the hell did that happen in the league seventh oh just one more position higher and we would have been in the playoffs but there is a seven point gap so you can clearly tell there's still a lot of work to be done but i do feel like next season we can go after the top two positions i am confident in this team we do have the ratings we just need to sort out a few things here and there and we're good to go now i want to see why has our left wing grown so much is it because he was doing well well 11 and 3 and he has 7 plus 7 oh wait i know why because i tried to turn him into a left wing but forgot to <laughs> convert him so the thing still works. If you have a right wing and you train into a left wing and leave it like that, they just grow exponentially. So I will take that. That is amazing stuff right there. He could now genuinely be our next Messi. Luis Rodriguez, though, great season right there. Good one. I think we're about to get to La Liga. It just had to happen. We're bringing in a player that used to play or does still play for the team of Lionel Messi. Newell's old boys goalkeeper Lautaro Morales is coming into our team. I had to spend big money on him right here. And obviously, we're very happy to see him walk in, into the club as a 76 rated player. Oh no, 75 rated player. It's a decent upgrade. 
on our goalkeeper. I thought the goalkeeping position was the only spot that desperately needed upgrading. So Morales, welcome to the club. I do think he's going to make a big difference. So let's hope we do well this season. I believe it's finally time for us to get out of the La Liga 2 and move into the top division. And we're going to do it as the second place team, Baraka Central has done so much better defensively. The best defensive team in the league. Seems like the boy that is coming from Messi's team is actually the right choice. I know he came in from Lanus, but originally, I think he plays at Newell's Old Boys. So just a heads up on that one. But yeah, Baraka Central in the second position going up. That's what we want to see. And now, Ruiz Rodriguez up to an 80 rating. Great stats on the boy. Fernandez is looking very good as well on that right-hand side. Langoni on an 83. He is the highest rated player in the team. Palacios up to a 79. San Longo, Sforza looking very good in that midfield. Sforza lower rated at this point. Gomez up to an 83. Salvareski, three ratings past his potential. Blasi seems kind of stuck. Alde up to an 81. Morales up to a 78. And I do think as we go into La Liga, we'll get plenty of money to upgrade that right back position with a banging player. But uh, yeah, it's going to be tough to find players now that whose names we don't necessarily know or haven't really heard of because obviously the ratings of our players are quite high and performance wise Fernandez and Langoni with the exact same season basically which is great to see Luis Rodriguez done well and Sforza plus three this season and 12 in three good stuff I can't wait to see how this team does in La Liga but I do think some transfers need to come in Gonna make some good ones. I told you we needed a right back and we are bringing one in. It is Marcelo Weigand. That second name right there sounds very German to me. So he comes into the squad now. An Argentinian that plays the right back position. Only one rating above the guy that we just had. But hopefully with higher upside. 25 years old, takes over that position. I do think that's going to be the only transfer I can make because your boy ain't got no money. After giving everyone new contracts... I'm pretty much sat there with no money left. So let's make sure we make the best out of this season. If we can finish anywhere in the top 10, I think that would be insane. But maybe I'm asking for too much. 2026 is done. The season is done. And we've beaten Barcelona, as you can see there at the top, on the second of the month. So that tells me we are strong. And we are exactly that. Eighth position in the league. Goal difference of zero in our first season in La Liga. I think that is quite fine. And I'm very proud that the team has made it that far. We are 31 points off the top. So a lot of work still to be done in the team itself. Luis Rodriguez up to an 83. Fernandez, same for him. Langoni, still the highest rated player in the team. Both midfielders have gone up above 80, which I like to see. The entire team is looking very strong right now, man. We're not too far off. And if I can strengthen that bench, which I'm going to try and do for the next season, we are looking very good here, guys. I'm very, very satisfied with the growth of the team. And then performance-wise... Fernandez, the main man on the right, who's left-footed, cuts inside and scores a bunch of goals, as we can tell. Luis Rodriguez has done well for himself. Langoni with the 12 and 9, Sforza 5 and 1, Tanlongo 4 and 3, and Palacios got himself 8 assists, 6 for our left-back out there, which is good to see as well. So guys, this was a greatly successful first season in La Liga. We could actually qualify for Europe in our second season if we make it happen. I have brought in a bunch of Argentinian free agents, but on top of it, we are also bringing in Santiago Castro, currently playing in San Pauli in this career mode. He's also a player that comes in from Argentina. Now, Santiago Castro is going to be the backup striker and take a look at these players. He comes in as a 75 rated player. 84 pace, 73 shooting. I'm very happy to see that. Four-star week foot as well. Starts off very low, by the way. 64 rating is where he starts off. So if you guys are looking for a road to glory type striker, this could be your guy. And I found Marquez, a free agent. Calvo, another one. Osorio, a goalkeeper as a backup for R1. And then we have Nieto coming in as a backup center back too. So those are the transfers I've made. And I am now fully prepared to see these guys skyrocket in ratings and hopefully... Get us into European football, man. I need it. By the way, how insane is it that we have Jonathan Blanco here, 39-year-old, is now 34 rated. I don't think I ever had any player in career mode that was lower rated than their actual age. 
This is insane. The guy just doesn't retire. Baraka Central has made it to the Champions League, guys. We are in there. 77 points. Only four points off Atletico Madrid at the end of this season. We are currently looking at the end of the year 2027 and we have pulled it off, which I am very happy to see. Ruiz Rodriguez up top, leading the line. Fernandez on the right, Langoni on the left. He might just be Messi, you know. He might just be the one. Palacios with the 85. Both midfielders on an 84. The entire defense looking very good, except the right-hand side is a little bit lackluster compared to the left, which is okay. Morales has grown nicely. And we have a couple of these players that are technically backups looking very strong right here, which I'm very happy with. So overall, an amazing season and Champions League footy incoming for the Argentinians. This is exactly what we want to see. And then 19 and 6, 18 and 8, 12 and 10, 9 and 5. Those are the top performers of the season alongside Sforza as well. I do think we have earned that Champions League spot next season. I could maybe see some titles on the line, especially in Spain. We have just gotten past Inter in the round of 16 and now PSG in the quarterfinals. It's Leipzig in the semifinals. Technically should be easier, right? When you look at the team size, but it is. We're going to be Champions League finalists. Yes, we are. We lose the second game, but it doesn't matter. I did not see that coming yet. I thought it was going to be next season. But after getting past Inter, we are now here up against Real Madrid, a team that is within our league that we try to beat for the league title as well. Let me take a look at the league table before we dive into the final itself. La Liga Santander, we only came in fourth, 15 points off Atletico Madrid, who have dominated and Real Madrid were second. Look at that. Ruiz Rodriguez, the man with the triple R, is 89 rated. Langoni is well and truly could be possibly messy here. And then Fernandez on a 90 rating. Palacios on the 88. Sforza and Talongo looking very good in that midfield. Vigant up to an 88. Salvareski, the captain, the original of the squad. 88 rated now, 29 years old. Gomez on a 90. He looks ridiculous, by the way. Aude on a 92. And then Morales is on the 89. The bench is looking solid. Guys, we have created an amazing squad here. And before we dive into the final, 29 and 5, 24 and 10, 12 and 5, 9 and 3, 8 and 5. But none of them got close to the previous year rebuild where we had a guy who had 51 games and like nearly 60 goal contributions, possibly even more. Insane stuff. We haven't seen that this time, but we have built an amazing team filled with Argentinians. Basically a sprint to glory at this point. But that's Real Madrid. Who do you have in your team? Vinicius Jr. Lindstrom from Eintracht. Let's go. Valverde playing right wing, just like Ancelotti does. Blanco, Olmo, Chuameni. Interesting. Dest, Militao, Bastoni, Hickey, Courtois. That is some lineup right there. You know what? If I wanted to check... Do we have the sliders turned on? I feel like they have reset for me. Look at that. I knew it. Okay, competitor mode on, player base difficulty on, and okay, the sliders were turned on. All right. But that stuff constantly resets, guys. It's not my fault, but here we go. We're going to play on the highest difficulty that we can find right here. Wish me luck. It's finally time. It's us against Zidane and his boys. Well, 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 Zidane. I'm sorry, but oh. Okay, well, we have an issue. We have to look at the black pants. Otherwise, we won't be able to tell our players apart. This is just genius work for me. I'm just trying to, you know, throw off my opponent by wearing the same colors as they do. And you can see immediately they thought that was their player. Fernandez is on the move. We have triple R in the center. Triple R. Nearly scored a scorpion kick. Are you kidding me? We nearly pulled that off. Mate, that would have been absolutely incredible. I'm so sorry for not actually pulling it off, guys. Now, obviously, in this video, we want to find out who is Messi. What a ball into our number 10. Now, our striker, uh, Triple R, as I like to call him, he is the one with the number 10 on his back. So technically, he needs to put up the Messi-type performance, right? The one to step it up big time and get it done for this club filled with Argentinians. Cross whipped in. 
Cheap. Cheaper. Ruined it. Oh, my God. Real Madrid with a big chance right there. Now Triple R is on the move. Ruiz Rodriguez. Oh, my God. They can't catch up to him. They can't. He's too strong. Ruiz Rodriguez. Oh, mate. This guy is sick. I love it. Well, this is not ideal. We're getting beat. No, I didn't swap players. Thank you for trying to pass that off. Real Madrid once again wasting another chance. Rodriguez could be through here. 1v1 against Eder Militao. Heads it down. Strikes it. Courtois can't save it. The number 10. It just had to be the number 10 of this team. Triple R. My main man, Ruiz Rodriguez. I think it's Ricardo Ruiz Rodriguez, isn't it? Heads it down. No, Ramiro. Ramiro Ruiz Rodriguez. 0.31 unexpected goals. Courtois can't get to it. Our boy is flying already. Real yeah, Madrid obviously not going to give up like that. Into the box. Great passing play. Wow. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god. I couldn't do anything, bro. Are you kidding me? That is some finish right there. The passing play inside the box. I can't even be mad. Look at that. That's insane. Honestly, guys, one of the best passing goals I've conceded. Nearly got past me again, but this time your boy has an answer. 45 minutes have passed. It's a very exciting matchup between two teams. Any chance that Real Madrid get could turn into a goal. So I need to do my best here. <sighs> Keep it up. Look at that. Good play. Very good play. We step in. Right when it's needed. Down the wings. Luis Rodriguez. Show some strength. Lovely. I see Palacios making a beautiful run. Lobs it. Crossbar. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. That has to be one of the most ridiculous Champions League final goals you have ever seen. Honestly, lads, have you ever seen anything like this in my videos? Look at that. The pass was exceptional. The lob was great. But then Militao is like, hold on. Let me smash this one onto Courtois' chest. <laughs> what an own goal by Real Madrid. Oh, no, it's actually his face. Courtois probably broke his nose on that one. 2-1 for Baraka Central. Is it deserved? Don't know. Don't care. Oh, no. Vinny Jr. again. Vinny Jr. with the pass and the save. <sighs> Fernandez luckily coming back to help us out here. Triple R down the right. We have Fernandez joining in the attack once more. Oh, I love that skill move. Into Palacios. He sees in the center. Triple R. Are you mad? How? What a save. Unbelievable. Tanlongo cross whipped in onto our striker's head. You see that? You see that? That's what we do. We show strength in the 67th minute. An incredible goal by Triple R. The cross ends up right on top of his head. Absolutely incredible. Tan Longo whips it in. And then there's the main man. He beat his opponent and Lo Celso is on the line just chilling. He is just vibing, lads. No. Yes. No. Come on, stop him. Yes, thank you very much. 70th minute. Huge chance wasted. Good ball into Fernandez. Fernandez. Fernandez nearly pulled it off in the 78th, man. Would have deserved it. He has been one of the most agile players despite being six foot tall. Into Fernandez's run. Fernandez against Serginho Dest. Fernandez sprinting away from the Real Madrid defense. Duck, get out of here, Courtois. Come on. Fernandez sprinting. Sees Triple R at the far post. Can he beat his man? He does. He does. He kind of does. Referee should be blowing the whistle any moment here. There's only two minutes added on. And we have shown a performance that was absolutely class. Yes, we got helped by a little bit of luck. But at the end of the day, they are making mistakes and we're capitalizing on them. Triple R, are you my Messi? Are you my Messi? Yes, he is. He well and truly is. Ramiro... Ricardo, no, what was it? Ramiro Ruiz Rodriguez. It's tough, man. I'm trying, all right? I'm trying my best to get his name right. Lads, we have pulled it off. Beaten Real Madrid in the Champions League finals. Exceptional stuff right here. 
Amazing. Ah, oh, mate, I love it. Oh, Captain, my Captain, Salvareski is going to be lifting that trophy. The original of our team. Guys, we have rebuilt the worst team in Argentina into the best in the world. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care and peace.